Hey everyone, in this video I want to clarify one thing and that is what it means to use square brackets after a list with a colon on the inside. And what you're trying to achieve with this depends on the context. I'll show you what I mean, but first let's just talk about normal slicing. So when you put a colon here, you can say where you want to start in a list. So you can say index 3 and you want to go up to index 6. That's going to grab the elements at index 3, 4, and 5. 6 is exclusive. So what we could do is we could actually print this. And running this, and you see we get fishing pole, pizza slice, nunchicks, which is supposed to say nunchucks, but yeah, not nunchicks. Anyways, a fishing pole, pizza slice, and nunchucks. If we leave off a number, we're pretty much saying, hey, we want to start at the absolute beginning. And if we also get rid of the ending number, we're saying we want to go to the absolute end. So running this now, and we get the entire list again. So it's effectively a way to make a copy of a list. This means that instead of printing this, we could actually assign it to another list. So let's say we have a backpack two. These are going to have the same exact elements, but they are not the same object in memory. They're gonna be pretty much a copy of each other. And I think we'll understand that in greater detail as we get into object-oriented programming. But for now, just know that these are separate entities. They just happen to be exactly the same in terms of contents. It's kind of like when you go through a house community and you see two copies of the same exact house. Well, when they were building these, they're not the same house. They just happen to have the same exact structure. So that's how this works. And I can prove that to you by using ID and passing in backpack and doing it again by passing in backpack two. So running this and you get two separate numbers, meaning they don't take up the same area of memory, they're copies. So that's the first use of this colon here. You can do it on the right side of this expression to make a copy of the original list. The other use is if we put it on the left side and that switches things up a lot. So let's get rid of this and go through an example like that. If I said backpack, and just put a colon in here, here's what's gonna happen. If I assign data to this, it's going to replace anything inside of that backpack list. So if I just made a list of one, two, three, and then printed backpack, we can run this and we get one, two, three. We can do this if we don't wanna replace the object, we just wanna change all of the data on the inside. So I can prove this to you here by printing the ID after as well as before to see if it changes. So running it, before it's a number and then after it's the same exact number. So it's the same list and if we went ahead and printed backpack, we can see that all of the data is replaced with one, two, three. If instead we got rid of this and just said backpack, well now we're going to replace the list altogether with a brand new object, a new list, one, two, three, and now we get two separate objects. So two widely different things happen, whether or not you put that square bracket in a colon there. And right now it might seem like, mm, it's not that big of a deal, like does it really matter? But later on you'll understand why this is important. If you're working with a list and you want to make a copy or you don't want to make a copy, or you need to replace a list or just change the insides of a list, that's all going to be very important. And we're gonna be using that throughout the series, so I thought I would just make a dedicated video to clear it up. So if you're using the slicing on the left, it's gonna be the same object. If we're using it on the right, then it's going to make a copy of that object. If any of this seems a little bit fluffy or it's just kinda of hard to work through in your brain, stay tuned for the upcoming videos because I will call out anything when it comes to the slicing just so we're all on the same page. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.